explain how to control the switch of the projector through the serial port. First, make sure that there is an RS232 interface on the back of the projector. The jack is 9 pin and is RS232. The jack on the back of the projector is a serial male head. So you need a serial port female connection. You also need to prepare the USB to RS232 conversion cable. The adapter cable is a serial port male socket. So you need to prepare the serial port female head extension cable. The extension cord needs to be made now. A solderless adapter is required. Turn it on. Open it and there will be two, three, five and three wiring ports inside. The two, three, five wiring method is divided into direct connection and crossover. If you want to determine whether your projectors are direct or cross-connected, need the projector manufacturer to provide the control code of the serial port. If it is a direct connection, the color and the order of the 2235 lines are the same. The wiring on the left is white, orange, blue. The color of the right wiring is also white, orange, blue. If the projector is a cross control, it is necessary to reverse the connection of 2 and 3 at 1 and 2 form a cross sequence. Our projector is a direct connection method, so we can directly use the direct connection method. Close the lead after connecting. One end is connected to the serial port adapter cable. The other end is directly connected to the projector. After connecting, you need to tighten the screws in place. Then connect the other end to the USB port of the computer. After the line is connected, send instructions to the projector through the computer's central control system. A series of operations such as projection on projection of signal switching can be realized. If there are multiple projectors, it is necessary to cut the surface of the wire, concatenate lines to multiple projectors. In this way, by sending a signal and then giving switch control to multiple projectors at the same time, 